Who doesn't love a good analogy? This is the one I've got for you for this edition of The Good, The Bad, and The Unusual. Weather was to the 2013 PGA Tour season as animals are to this season. Don't believe me? Take a look. Boy, just a nice little afternoon snack. Whew. How about an entree? Over at the 16th, Andrew Loop getting a oh. roll. Look at that, the iguana <laughs> trying to eat his ball at 16. Come on, push it back to the hole. Oh, these guys out for a little Saturday afternoon stroll. Whoa, Whoa. hey, gee, whiz. So while it's fun to watch nature intervene from the comfort of our own living rooms, I'd imagine for the guys that are actually out there, it's not quite as entertaining. <laughs> We'll take a look at this duck trying to chase down Chesson Hadley's golf ball. He's trying to get out of there. So Josh's caddy decided to dispatch of this duck. Look at this. How about a little uh, crunchy granola bar? There you go. That's excellent course management right there by the caddy, isn't it? Excellent. <laughs> Rather dark for Jonas Blixt. On his belly, inside a bush. He's trying to identify his ball. Poor fella is obviously unplayable. Some yeah. of those are thorny bushes though, aren't they? <laughs> Variety of wildlife. Yeah, there's a nasty yeah. route. Man-eating yeah. wildlife so out there. friendly. Yeah, go ahead and get under there, Jonas. It's not like this just happened earlier. Oh, he fell in. Oh my oh, goodness, man. now he's falling in the jumping choyas. Harder, Mike. <laughs> Something we can all relate to, sometimes it's simply user error that can frustrate us out on the golf course. Phil Mickelson was coming off back to back to back double bogeys and had to take a moment to get his chi back. Kind of that kind of day, isn't it, Frank? Can't believe what happened on the previous hole. It was Tiger Woods' niece, Cheyenne, who snapped a photo of the action and then tweeted out, so what does it look like when one of the best in the world make three straight double bogeys? This, it be like that sometimes, Phil. Now, I'm no pro, but you know who is? Chesson Hadley, and I have a feeling that if Phil would have listened to Chesson's advice, maybe he wouldn't have been in that situation. Just for a few small tips, I mean, we're in here at the beach, and you know, first rule of what I like to do is kind of get the sleeves rolled up a little bit kind of roll them up here out of the shoulders because when the sun's out, the gun's got to be out. And then there are things that maybe none of us will ever understand, like when Sergio went good good to Ricky Fowler in match play because he felt bad about taking up time with an official ruling on the previous hole. What? That is weird. What on earth was that about? Now you'll remember that Ricky Fowler defeated Sergio Garcia in that match on the 18th hole. So yeah, I'd say we can file that one under bad. But something that fits under all of these categories, especially unusual, are maybe the two best shots we've seen all season long. I will leave you with Victor Dubuisson's golden hands. Dubuisson is going to play this shot over the green in the 19th hole of this match. I know how he's going to play it. Drop it. Pick very it. carefully. Uh, that's a teddy bear choy, and it'll it'll throw stuff all over him. He's sitting down. Uh, I mean, he has to play it. It's it's, it's mm. a situation where you might take an unplayable. Oh, he just went in a hit. Oh, are you are what? What? Oh my oh, goodness! Oh my goodness! What a shot! Golden hands. <laughs> well, there it is. He has pulled off one miracle shot already this extended match. And he's just going to climb in there and play it. He's done it again. Golden hands. Here we go. Oh, my this is goodness. absolutely bizarre. <laughs> Look at Jason Day. He cannot believe it. What is this man doing? <laughs> That'll do it for this edition of GBU. But, of course, if you see something that fits right here, find us on Twitter using hashtag GBU.